Before we get started please like and subscribe. Dot. What is a machine tap? A complete guide. Before we get started. To save time arguing let's start off on the right foot for the purposes of this demonstration the term hand taps will refer to taps that are powered by hand and the term machine tap refers to taps that are powered by a machine. Ok, let's start. Taps and their thread chip formation. Hand taps can be supplied in sets of three they are. Taper, second or plug, and bottom. The difference in these taps is mainly in the amount of taper at the point. These are straight flute general purpose tools which can be used for hand tapping. It is essential that the tap is presented squarely to the work and that the taps are correctly aligned. When hand taps are used in a machine it is usually the second tap. Using the bottom tap only, can cause problems and will significantly reduce the life of the tool. Taper taps have a lead of 7 to 10 threads at 5 degrees per side. The taper lead distributes the cutting force over a large area, and the taper shape helps the thread to start. They can therefore be used to start a thread prior to use of second or bottom leads, or for through holes. Second or plug tap shave a lead of 3 to 5 threads at 8 degrees per side. They are the most popular and can be used for through holes, or blind holes where the thread does not need to go right to the bottom. Bottom taps have a chamfer, lead, of 1 to 2 threads, the angle of the lead being around 18 degrees per side. They are used to produce threads close to the bottom of blind holes. Machine taps. The main two types are spiral point also known as gun nose or bull nose or chip driver. Depending on your shop and supplier. And spiral flute. Spiral point taps these taps are sometimes called gun nosed, are made with a special leading flute ground at an angle to the tap axis. This left hand flute at the lead pushes the swarf ahead of the tap threads thus allowing the use of smaller flutes since chip clearance is not required. The result is therefore stronger taps which are suitable for through hole tapping in most materials. Blind hole tapping should only be attempted where there is sufficient room at the bottom of the hole to accommodate the swarf. Spiral flute taps These taps have a continuous spiral flute the same hand as the thread, thus forcing the swarf up the hole. The most suitable applications are on blind holes in ductile materials with long continuous chips. Slower 15 degrees spiral may be used on tougher materials. Acme taps produce a trapezoid shaped. They are constructed with a 29 degrees thread angle. Acme drill tap size formulas. Class of fit 2G, 3G, 4G, 2C, 3C, 4C. Acme drill tap size formulas. Tap drill is the basic minor diameter of the nut, or the major diameter minus the pitch. Combination drill and taps creates holes and cuts threads in a single pass at high speeds. They are self-centering and are used for through holes of up to twice the depth of the tap diameter. Ideally suited for use on construction, maintenance and repair, assembly applications. Extension taps are used for deep hole drilling and where a longer reach is required. They are designed with standard threads and an extended shank. Pulley tap the hub portion of pulley parts contain oil cups and set screw holes, most of which cannot be reached with ordinary hand taps. Pulley taps have the same basic thread dimensions as hand taps, but pulley taps differ in that they have a longer shank which is of the same basic major diameter as the threaded portion. When tapping pulley hub holes, the taps are inserted through holes in the rims which are slightly larger than the shanks of the taps. These holes serve as guides or bushings for the taps to assure proper alignment when tapping. Pulley taps can also be used for general tapping in parts where an extra long length is required to reach the holes being tapped. Nut tap nut taps feature a long chamfer which assists in entering the drilled hole, and distributes the cutting action over several teeth. These taps were initially designed for tapping nuts and have a long thread length. 
The shank diameter is smaller than the tap's minor diameter to allow the accumulation of several nuts after tapping. Nut taps also feature an extended square length. Pipe taps are used to cut internal threads in parts or fittings that will be mated with threaded pipe or fittings to make a pressure tight joint. Pipe threads require higher cutting forces than regular machine thread tapping because the threads require 100% thread depth. All threads on tapered pipe taps are cutting. NPT, National Pipe Taper, refers to American National Standard Taper Pipe Threads. They are commonly used for general purpose applications and require a sealant. EMPS, National Pipe Straight, refers to American National Standard Straight Pipe. They are commonly used for threads in pipe couplings. NPT, National Pipe Taper, refers to American National Standard Taper Pipe Threads. Nominal pipe size is loosely related to the inside diameter of Schedule 40 pipe, because of the wall thickness the actual diameter of the thread is larger than the ENTS considerably so for small ENTS national pipe size other schedules of pipe have different wall thicknesses but the odd outside diameter of the profile remains the same so the inside of the pipe is therefore different from one nominal diameter. For more information reference ANSI slash ASME B1.20.1 to 1983. R 1992, the angle between the sides of the thread is 60 degrees and perpendicular to the center axis. The taper is 3 quarters of an inch per foot which is 1 degree 47 minutes in 24 seconds or 1.7899 degrees. On the right side is an NPT chart that will give you a size reference. Suppliers would give these away every time they came into the shop. Now there are hard to come by. So if you see charts and reference books at garage sales or second-hand stores it's worth the investment to pick them up. NPT Drill Tap Size To save on some confusion use a drill tap chart. On the print, locate the size that you need to tap. Match that with the size on the drill tap chart. Extension pipe taps and British standard pipe taps are typically constructed with a chamfer. Chamfers are the length of the tapering threads at the front of the tap. Both the chamfered portion of the tap and the first full thread beyond the chamfer produce the finished thread of the part. Several pipe taps are designed with a hook, which is the entry angle of the cutting face or the part of the flute that cuts into the workpiece. High hook pipe taps are used on ductile materials that normally produce long continuous chips, such as aluminium, free machining stainless steel, mild steels, and plastics. Medium hook, also known as regular hook, pipe taps produce smaller chips in general purpose applications. They are used on a variety of ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Low hook pipe taps are used to produce granular chips. They are used on cast iron and brass. Standard pipe taps are used for cutting internal threads in parts or fittings that will then be mated with threaded pipe or fittings to make pressure tight joint. Spiral flute pipe taps are designed for general purpose internal threading of pipe taps and pipe fittings. The flute geometry draws the chips away from the hole where chip disposal may be an issue. Spiral flute short projection pipe tap designs are available for shallow hole applications. Why use interrupted threads? Interrupted threads are used for increased coolant penetration to the cutting edge, enhanced chip escape and reduced friction and torque. Often recommended for difficult materials such as stainless steel, titanium and bronze. Thread forming pipe taps are used to form internal threads by displacing the metal without producing chips in pipes and pipe fittings. They are ideal for aluminium, brass, copper, steel and soft metals. Major advantages of thread forming over thread cutting. Chip less tapping since the thread is formed and not cut, there are no chips to interfere with the tapping process or to cause chip removal problems in blind holes. Stronger threads The grain flow of formed threads follows the contour of the thread resulting in greater thread strength. This is especially true for materials that work harden such as steel and stainless steel. 
Better thread gauging forming taps rearrange the metal in the hole to create the thread. Because no metal is cut away, the possibility of producing oversized threads is greatly reduced. Stronger taps the absence of chips eliminates the need for flutes, resulting in a solid, stronger tap. Longer tap life forming taps last 3 to 20 times longer than cutting taps because they have no cutting edge to dull. More efficient production longer tap life, less tap breakage, and faster tapping speeds combine to reduce cycle time and machine downtime. Surface treatment while selecting the correct type of tap for a job, the material to be tapped should also be considered. This may determine the surface coating that should be applied to the tap in order to extend its life. Bright finish? Most taps are supplied with no surface treatment. They are referred to as bright finish. These taps are mainly for use on non-ferrous materials, or steels that do not cold weld. Bright finish taps are therefore suitable for all hand operations, where speeds are too low for cold welding to occur, and for most machine operations. Steam Oxide A black oxide surface, Fe304, produced on the surface of a finished tap by means of a steam furnace This oxidized surface is porous and helps retain cutting fluid in the working portion of the tap. The materials on which steam oxide has shown improvement in performance are stainless steels, steel forgings, tool and die steels, hot and cold rolled steels, and high nickel alloys. Titanium nitride, tin, a thin deposit, approximately 0.0001, applied to the surface of a finished tap utilizing PVD coating technology. Tin coating increases the surface hardness and wear resistance. Use of tin coating on standard tools will help increase tool life in harder materials, up to 32 HRC, such as stainless steels, steel forgings, tool and die steels and hot and cold rolled steels. Tin coating also works very well with water-based cutting fluid. Titanium carbonitride, TCN, similar to tin, TCN is applied utilizing PVD coating technology. This coating combines high hardness, approximately 2800 Vickers, with the anti-seizure properties of nitride. A lower coefficient of friction helps reduce welding by 75% over tin-coated tools. These features make TCN especially beneficial in non-ferrous material and hardened steels. Titanium Aluminium Nitride T -Aln, T -Aln, is applied using PVD coating technology. The addition of aluminium reduces friction and increases the coating oxidation temperature. As a result, T -Aln has increased resistance to heat and oxidation wear. This makes T-Aln better suited for high-speed slash high-heat applications. T-Aln coating is incorporated into many of our tools. Technology for tapping 75% faster. Punch taps. Have you tried Emerge punch taps yet? Basically, it's a really clever version of a form tap that can run up to 75% faster than a normal form tap. Audi came up with the original technology and perfected it in partnership with Emerge. The secret is the teeth on the end are little brooches. They cut a spiral groove just big enough to snake the thread cutters through in the groove. Those thread cutters are 180 degrees apart. Now, once the punch tap is at the bottom of the hole, a quick half rotation is all it takes to form all the threads in the hole. Plus, since we have everything 180 degrees apart the brooches are lined up with the grooves, and we just reverse the entry spiral to back out. The American, National, Screw Thread Form is divided into four series, the National Course, North Carolina, National Fine, NF, National Special, NS, and National Pipe Threads, NPT, 11 series of this thread form have the same shape and proportions. This thread has a 60 degrees included angle. The Unified Thread Standard, UTS, defines a standard thread form and series, along with allowances, tolerances, and designations, for screw threads commonly used in the United States and Canada. It is the main standard for bolts, nuts, 
and a wide variety of other threaded fasteners used in these countries. It has the same 60 degrees profile as the isometric screw thread, but the characteristic dimensions of each UTS thread, outer diameter and pitch, were chosen as an inch fraction rather than a millimeter value. The UTS is currently controlled by ASME slash ANSI in the United States. British Standard Whitworth Sir Joseph Whitworth proposed this thread in 1841. His was the first standardized thread form. The form of the thread is shown in the diagram. The principal features of the British Standard Whitworth BSW, thread form are that the angle between the thread flanks is 55 degrees and the thread has radii at both the roots and the crests of the thread. The relevant standard for this thread form is the British Standard BS 84 to 2007. The thread form is now redundant and has been replaced by unified and metric threads but there are many applications in which it is still used. Metric screw threads, M-series threads, are defined in international standard ISO each thread is characterized by its major diameter, D and its pitch, P. Isometric threads consist of a symmetric V-shaped thread. In the plane of the thread axis, the flanks of the V have an angle of 60 degrees to each other. The thread depth is 0.614 times pitch. Tip, to calculate the tap drill size for metric threads the diameter of thread minus the thread pitch will give you the required tap drill size. So for M6 by 1 thread size. 6 to 1 equals 5 millimeters. Use a 5 millimeters drill. Tap drill size. The tap drill is always smaller than the tap and leaves enough material in the hole for the tap to produce a 75% of a full thread. Only when a drill tap chart is not available. The drill tap size for any American national or unified thread can be found easily by applying TEDS equals D1 slash N. TEDS equals top drill size. D equals minor diameter of tap. N equals number of threads. Left hand tap, top, right hand tap bottom. Standard Imperial Tap Markings Identifying markings of a tap 5 eighths is the nominal size. 11 is the number of threads per inch. North Carolina refers to standardized national course thread series. G is the symbol used for ground taps. H3 identifies the tolerance range of the tap. HSS refers to the material that the tap is made out of high-speed steel M2 grade there is more material than listed like carbide. Left-hand taps are identified by an LH or left-hand marking. The tap is right-hand by default. Standard metric tap markings. Nominal size. Pitch, lead of the tap. The absence of the indication of pitch means that the course pitch is specified. Pitch diameter limit. Tap material HSS. I understand that these tools look similar but preform jobs that are totally different to each other. Roughing end mill will remove large amounts of material and will leave a rough surface it will not produce a thread. Spiral flute taps can only produce threads and cannot be used to rough material to a given size. If you require more identifying factors try this if there are four flats that are opposed to each other it's a tap not an end mill if there are any of the following. No flats. One or two flats. A thread. It's an end mill. Here are some of the websites that I use to gather up the information in this video give them a visit for more information. Well I'm glad to see that you like the video. As you can see in this video are you some new technology. I did use computer voiceover that's something new for me. And I'm giving it a try I also added background music. If you liked it or dislike it please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you want to see other great videos on machining check out my YouTube channel shop and math. And as always please like and subscribe it's free and it'll help me out all you have to do is click on the icon of my face and I will do the rest. Thank you for watching the video and have a great night. Dot.